Tell me, how have things changed in terms of race relations since the 1960s? Oh God, tremendously. On Thursday at three o'clock, I'm gonna be going to see my granddaughter be sworn in as a Mississippi attorney who graduated from Ole Miss. So, you know, we come that far. And not only that, just, this is on my family side, but there's so much more. We have, when Medgar was here, there wasn't a single elected official. Now we have the highest number in the country. When Medgar was here, there wasn't a single black uh, uh, in any of the stores, and well, now we're all over Jackson, we're all over the state of Mississippi. And there's a better link. White people have changed. They're not the mean, racist white people that they once were, that their grandmom and granddaddy were. It's a different breed, and we're proud of that. We haven't come far enough now, but we've come a long ways. See, this is going to be shown in Canada most of the time, that your Canadians know that Mississippi and the South and America has been just as racist against minorities as you have been, you Canadians are, against the Indians. And that is that we, were the, we had no education at that time. Our schools went to school about four months out of the year. Right. We, we, we were all, most of them were sharecroppers and we were, had no freedom to use any of the hotels or the motels or even first class places. I remember that. Uh, all right, so yeah. all those kinds, we were discriminated only because we were, like I said, Negroes or black. So do we get calls? If you're gonna call in and ask them, talk to this Canadian lady, we'd be glad to take your calls. What needs to be done yet? Continuation of respect and dignity from both sides and blacks gotta accept, reach out for whites and white gotta reach out for blacks and we gotta join hands and go out and make this state the state it should be. Go ahead, Carla. Oh, uh, yes. I think that the changes have been subtle changes in some ways and in some ways that they haven't. But one thing that I, I think everybody in this country needs to do is really talk to each other and not around the subject right. of race. All right. Thank you very much, Carla. Are you a controversial figure in the black community? Very much. Why? I believe in integration. You know, I believe in... Uh, all people. I don't believe in black, I don't believe in white, I believe in people. And for that reason, because I won't become a black racist, a lot of blacks don't love me. What I, what I care. I've, I've fought white racism and I fight black racism. I don't believe in black caucuses because I've fought white caucuses all my life. It's a joke to me. I believe in caucuses of all people. That's what I'll always be. Go ahead, Carla. Uh, this, Mr. Evans? Yes. Uh, you tell this lady, I don't know. She, she listened right here. Go ahead. Okay. It, it, when we go to the stadium, 90% uh, of the white people is on one side and we on the other side. So there's still a lot of segregation and separation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so, other, a long way to so go. it's not just in Mississippi, it's all over. That's right. Right. What's the biggest uh, controversy on your talk when, you, when you're at the microphone and people call in? Welfare. I, I hate welfare with a passion. And I tell black people, Let's become educated and independent. Let's own something. And let's be taxpayers rather than tax recipients. And a lot of blacks don't like to hear that. So, but I keep preaching. We've got to become, as, as other races become, independent. You can't become independent dependent on someone. And now that we have our right, almost freedom, let's use it to our own advantage. Let's stop the killing among ourselves. Let's start respecting ourselves rather than destroying ourselves. We are more of a racist against each other now than the white man was 100 years ago. Do you have some white friends? Oh, yes, I have many white friends, yes, like. many. From the governor on down, oh, yes. And the president, I was a good friend until the war, and then we didn't have, we had a little difference there. But uh, his father and I was very close. Uh, president Nixon and I was very close. Joe Wallace and I became very good friends. Really? But, you know, because I keep reaching out. I, I never, I don't close no doors. And, I, and even Ross Barnett and I became political friends. We, I don't know we live in love with each other, but we can make political friends. How you doing, Mr. Devin? Fine, you go ahead. Okay, Ms. Myers. Yes, sir. I think uh, the solution to this to this to this problem is is not so much a political. We're looking at the wrong thing. What's that? If we would if we would uh, seek Jesus and become saved, then you know, saved following Christ. It mm -hmm. don't have no color. It don't have no 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 nothing. You see one thing: we all are the people. And I think, I think that's the whole solution to where we need to turn our actions towards Christ instead of pointing the finger up at this guy, that guy, or political this, or who this, or who that. Jesus is the answer to all and everything. 
Okay. You Thank know what? You know what I say go to ahead, that? Go ahead. Amen, my brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's about it, Reverend. That's uh, we're gonna have to cut that off, and we certainly have enjoyed you. Any more questions you want to ask? A final statement you want to make? No, I'm just delighted to be here. I appreciate hearing what your listeners have to say. It's been a great opportunity. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. If you ever back in Mississippi, stop by to see us. I don't know if you if this is an appropriate question to ask. Ask it. What would Megger think of life today in Mississippi? Medgar would be proud and disappointed. He'd be proud of the progress we made racial nationwide and political, but he'd be sad to know how blacks are destroying blacks among themselves. The non-caring of blacks, the, 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 the disrespect that blacks have for others. Uh, he'd be really hurt, I think. What are your hopes for Mississippi? That we become the greatest state in the nation, race relationwide and economically too. And the black folks and white folks learn to work together as we, uh, we always work apart. Anything else you want to say? That's about it, I guess. Say any more, I'll say too much. 